Hello and welcome everybody to the May High Rollers Top 10 eBay Sales of Casino Chips in the Month of May. We start with number 10, the Sands $1 Casino Chip Vintage Las Vegas Rarity. Sold for $477 by now plus shipping. H Mold Sands, very beautiful. I love the diamond stars dollar sign the one the huge big fat one this is just a lovely chip and it sold on may 3rd we move on to number nine the moulin rouge 100 casino chip second issue las vegas may 3rd again may 3rd was a big day i guess for casino chip sales 499 dollars and 99 cents and this is my understanding this is the 1955 release, and you can see it has a rectangular mold. I've always liked the name Moulin Rouge. Maybe it's because of the movie or the Eiffel Tower in the background. I don't know, but I've always liked these chips, and this is something that I actually want. And then we have number eight, the Rarer Desert Inn $5 Casino Gaming Chip, Las Vegas, Nevada. Also May 3rd. This one also sold for $499.95. The shipping was like... It, it's pretty close when you're talking about four cents. I think the shipping was a little bit more on this one. That's why it came out a little bit higher. And this is a 1960s Desert Inn HCE mold, the H mold as I always call it. And this is just a lovely chip. I mean, the triple dual edge spots and the the decorations on it. It's just a really lovely Desert Inn. To me, this isn't necessarily something that I'm, for me personally, really calls out to me but it does have a very pleasant, pleasing round inlay. Number seven is one that I just have no clue about, not even how to pronounce this. Very rare Leo kind, Pagui-Ui, pagui gooey parlor chip. I don't know how to say that. $20 vintage Vegas 1956. And it looks like it's a small crown mold with the hot stamp Leo kind. Sold for $553.78. I love it when people throw on like a few cents at the end. It just cracks me up. And sold on May 25th. And I don't know what to say about this. I just don't know. It's a parlor chip from the 50s. So it, trust me, there are people out there, and you could be one of them, who just knows everything about these parlor chips and these illegal casinos. And... They know what the, exactly what they're looking at. I do not. So we're going to move on to number six. We get the Wilbur Clark Desert Inn. You'll notice that inn is misspelled. I wonder if it, this would have gone for a little bit more if that had two ends in it. $5 Casino Gaming Chip, Las Vegas, Nevada. May 3rd. Sold for $795. You can see lovely H mold here. This came out in the 50s. And I find it interesting that there are certain casinos where you get a face on like I'm, I know nowadays like I love my like Britney Spears and Shania Twain chips but Wilbur Clark it's just great <laughs> to see the faces of people on chips even in the 50s. Number five we have the Aladdin five dollar Las Vegas casino chip Milton Prells 1966 the first issue very rare sold on May 14th for $750. This was a best offer because the listing was asking 1000 but they accepted the offer of 750 I, people ask every time I talk about the offers, you can see those on 130 point. I'll put a link in the description below if I remember. 1966, small crown mold you can see here. It has this lovely LSC inlay with the quarter pie. I call it quarter pie, I'm not sure if that's accurate, but with the quarter pie coloration on the mold, it looks absolutely beautiful. This Aladdin, and the other thing about the Aladdin, Obviously, everybody familiar with Vegas knows that, or as in my generation knows that the Aladdin is now Planet Hollywood. And I think this, the Milton Prells, I think was the original building. I think that original building had was torn down to make way for the new Aladdin, which became Planet Hollywood. Correct me if I'm wrong. You always wanna fact check everything I say on this channel. Really interesting chip, I mean, this is Aladdin. It's beautiful too, the classic, you know, small, crown mold with the quarter pie design. Love it. Moving on to number four, the Flamingo Hotel Casino, $5 hotel casino gaming poker chip, Las Vegas, Nevada, sold on May 1st for $1,775. This was released in 1967. H mold, you can see, you know, obviously 
the H mold, also called HCE, the flamingo. It needs no introduction. This is when it was flamingo proper, not flamingo Caesars, flamingo Hilton, whatever it is nowadays. This is also interesting because it looks similar to some of the older flamingo chips, but it has that really interesting red, yellow edge spot pattern, which is just slightly different than the some of the previous or is it was it were they concurrent either way some other flamingo chips i've seen so very interesting flamingo chip this is one that i really want at the moment 1775 dollars is a little bit out of my price range moving on to the top three may was a good month for poker chips because number three we have las vegas fremont hotel five dollar poker chip old and rare add to your collection yeah may 5th 2022 for $2,402, and I love this, 77 cents. The other one was 78 cents, but 77 cents here. Released in 1955, it has this, I think this is called the Hub Mold. I was reading about this on Chip Guide, special, you know, they don't sponsor this channel or anything, but huge shout out to Chip Guide. That's where I go for so much information. Hub Mold, and uh, it has a picture of the hotel. So instead of somebody's face, downtown Vegas, Hotel Fremont. This is a, such a lovely trip, chip. I mean, really, really stands out. And when you're talking about mid-50s, like 1955, this is a chip I really like. And it's probably not in my top 10 of chips I don't have that I want, but it's in the top 50 for sure. Then we move on to something a little bit more recent. We have a 1990 MGM Marina Hotel, $25 first edition casino chip, Las Vegas, Nevada. I think it was the only edition because the MGM Marina was originally the Marina Hotel, but then they bought that property and they built the MGM Grand on it and they left the Marina Hotel there because it was really structurally sound is my understanding. I think I was reading about this on Wikipedia. And so they just built around it and now it's part of the MGM Grand and then they renamed it obviously when the MGM Grand was completed. So very short-lived MGM Marina Hotel, $25 chip, sold on May 31st, 2022 for $3,200. They were asking $3,500, but they accepted the best offer of $3,200. My understanding is that the purchase of the property took place in 89, or I think it might have been finalized in 1990. And they that's when they you know changed the name to MGM. That's when they made these chips. And so we have just a lovely THC mold. And it's a really interesting, I mean, to me, this chip is really historically interesting. Even though it is a more of a modern chip, I can see how it could command a premium just because the marina name was so short-lived. And we have a record breaker. This, I think this is a record for this channel since I've been doing this since last fall. We have a new highest high roller ever. Number one, Sahara, $5 casino chip, third issue, 1950s, Las Vegas, May 30th. This sold for $16,499.99. I wonder if this transaction is gonna go through. Seeing a price like that is really impressive. I mean, this is a hard chip to find. I just don't see a lot of these kicking around. 1950s picture of a hotel, you know, obviously this is, you know, the era where they have pictures of the hotel on there. Small key mold, the yellow. It's just a lovely, I mean, absolutely lovely chip. Very desirable, something I would like, again, I don't have the funds to drop 17, almost $6,499.99 for one casino chip, but that's an absolutely lovely chip. Have we had a chip that sold for more than that on this channel? I'm not sure we have. I need to go back and watch all my old videos. Well, that's it for today. Special thanks to Poker Chip Forum for all your support. Special thanks to Chip Guide for all the information that's available. And special thanks to my patrons. Thank you so much for your support. It really means a lot to me. It keeps me motivated. And it's good to know that I have some people supporting me. And it's just general support on Patreon. I message back and forth with the patrons and I post a few behind the scenes pictures and videos. As usual, thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoy this content, please subscribe.